Bonjour, this is Piper Blush. And did you know you are spending a lot more money than you think on AI? And that's why I've decided to undergo this crazy adventure of AI. I'm gonna talk to you about it in this whole entire video. So sit tight and don't freak out. It's all about AI, but not the ones that are gonna rule the world. Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, so the USA is gonna spend $500 billion on AI. Imagine that, that's a lot of money. So if you are a US citizen, well, that's kind of you spending that money. I don't have that budget. Mm -hmm. I don't have huge pockets. Yes, but China, stop recording, mother. Okay, privacy mode activated. It's my AI. See, I'm gonna talk to you about it later. But first, okay, China has been supposedly investing close to $1 trillion over the past 10 years in AI. So I mean, one half quarter, one half of a trillion for the USA, that's like, that's like nothing compared to China. But me, Piper, how much can I put in? Because I'm Canadian, so, and I don't have trillions or billions of dollars. So I decided to put in about $15,000 uh -huh, to create my very own AI system. And you can do that too, uh -huh, because the world we live in right now is not a world about terabytes and who has more storage and who has the fastest internet speed. Uh -uh. It's over now. Now what you need to invest in is AI. And don't freak out, it's gonna be fine. So I've built myself a huge AI computer, uh -huh. a sort of supercomputer. There she is, ta-da! Her name is Mother. Some of you are gonna get it, other people are not gonna get it, but it's okay, we're gonna get it together. See this? This is Mother. Now yes, she cost a, a lot of money with implementation. As you can see, she is green because RGB for life. And of course, there's Jonesy right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now uh, he stays there, he's super chills. The fans, they run all the time. Why? Because you need to cool that stuff down. Mm -hmm. And you know who's happy? Jensen's happy. Who's Jensen Piper? He's the guy who creates NVIDIA wall cards. And I have one right there. This is a 4090. Mm -hmm. Like sorta kinda top of the line, but you know what? The 5090 is coming. Mm -hmm. And that means that mother, my AI supercomputer, is gonna be completely irrelevant in not that long. And Nvidia is even coming up with this kind of tiny, small computer that's gonna be even more powerful than mother, uh -huh. within a few months probably. So this is the world we live in. Now, if you're like, wow, Piper, I don't have $15,000. Don't worry, chat DPT, it costs 20 bucks per month. Or Claude, it costs 20 bucks per month too. Uh -huh. In Canadian dollars, it's about $30. Yeah, I know, US Canadians been kind of crazy these days. But all of this put together means that you uh -huh, can actually do something about your AI future. And it's super easy because there are some free versions out there. Mm -hmm. But I know you're dying to know more about my mother. So I'm going to give you more specs. For all of the people out there that really love AI and that really want to know what's under the hood. Okay, I just need to go to my terminal thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> See this? Wow, this is for when you want to test if you're colorblind or not. <laughs> okay, okay, it's also all the specs of mother. Uh -huh. My supercomputer, yeah, it's all on there. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm using Ubuntu because you have no choice when you're building AI. That's what you need to use. But that's not the most crazy specs ever. Uh -huh. You want to know my resolution for year 2025? 1080 720p. <laughs> Get it? Some of you are gonna understand. Others, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Then terminal is GNOME. Yeah, it seems like there's a little GNOME that's always there in the thing. Mm -hmm. It stays there. I mean, it's for good luck or something. Doesn't matter. I invested good money uh -huh, in my motherboard. Yes, it's an AMD Ryzen. It's the Hero One, which is great, but um. Not enough plugs for fans. You need a lot of fans. I have a lot of fans. And this baby has one, two, three, four, five, six, six fans. I could put a lot more fans, but I'm gonna need like to have another thing on my motherboard to extend all these fans. So there's too much fans, too much RGB. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, like I said, this is what you need, top of the line, uh -huh. but you can do some scripts and other stuff without having this big capacity, uh -huh. this big graphic card. I mean, even your MacBook can run some little AIs like Olama and your terminal uncensored stuff. Uh -huh. It can do all of that. So uh, for those of you who really want to build like a home lab, like a, an actual personal assistant and all that, of course, this might be like super better, but you can also do the little things on your actual computer. Uh -huh. It is all possible. That's what I'm telling you. And it's crazy because I've done it. I've also built a few websites. <gasps> I'm not even a coder. Imagine that. Uh -huh. So with my little investment in my uh, own company and myself, uh -huh. oh, you hear this? Uh -huh. Well, this is actually a new subscriber on my newest website. It's like Piper 2.0. Because uh -huh. where is Piper? Piper is here. So I've made myself a few Pi scripts so that I can track every data in real time. Mm -hmm. This is the live count of visitors on this website. Yes, right now. So we're at 48, 43, it goes down, up. I mean, they must be doing something else. I've got uh, the actual verified users because I send them an email mm -hmm. and the unverified I'm at 466 and I started this website yesterday uh -huh. Imagine this. This is so cool. The SAAS guys are gonna be so jealous and this even tracks the money uh -huh. This is all the money I've made with the site right now. Well, okay, not all of it I actually tested the transaction first. So <gasps> Still gonna get the money. I mean it's just gonna take maybe a month, you know, the time that it processes and everything. All right, I know you're ready for this, so let's back it up. Mm -hmm. With my whole new system, I can actually tell mother. Mother, listen to this. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, mother, uh, put in my calendar that tomorrow I need to go buy some milk. Stop recording. Okay, privacy mode activated. <gasps> okay, I still need to figure out if I say stop, and or all of these little things, but it doesn't matter. See this? She can listen to me. And you're like, Piper, how does she listen to you? This is so weird. Because I put microphone in my whole entire office. Uh -huh. They're everywhere. That way, me and mother can interact in real time, a bit like you would with Siri or Alexa. But I control all this data. I don't give it out to anybody else. It stays mine. It's all there. Uh -huh on my own personal mother. So I have one microphone here. Mm -hmm. So this is to capture this environment. If you're like, Piper, your house is crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's an office and a house and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I got one here. I got another one here. That's for when I'm officing. Now this is the accounting office. This is the very important toilet paper for noses only. And this, you see this screen? This is huge screen, right? Mm -hmm. It's best yes, ever. I'm listening. Stop recording. Okay, privacy mode activated. <laughs> and I've got another microphone. Yes. All you have to do is follow the yellow brick road of lines. See this? They're everywhere. So there's one in the kitchen mm -hmm, that goes all the way there. So that if I have a good idea in the kitchen, well, I can actually tell mother about it. Mm -hmm. And then she can put it in her brain and then I can revisit it later. Okay, let's follow the lines. So that's the purple. And then I got two more. Hey, Suki. Right here, right here. And they go all the way here. Now, these ones are very important. Mm -hmm. There's one in my bed right there. Yes. It's not for what you think. Uh -huh. It's that sometimes in the middle of the night or before I go to bed, I have great ideas. And so I need to tell them to mother. There's another one here. This one goes to this. This is actually like mother's voice. So all of the microphones are mother's ears and all of the speakers are mother's voice so that she can reply back or else I don't know if she understood, you know? Mm -hmm. Super easy. Did you see? Red dress. I'm the girl with the red dress. The woman with the red dress. You get it? Now I know everybody has this on their mind mm -hmm. because everybody's been talking about it. Uh -huh for Canada to become the 51st state of the United States of America. And since I'm Canadian, mm -hmm, I've been asked a lot that question. So I will take a stand. Uh -huh. I've written this letter to the admirable president of the United States, Donald Trump. I haven't sent it yet. See, just need to like 
actually lick the envelope and do the rest. I'm gonna read it to you, mm -hmm. well, a little bit, because it's a long letter, you know? Because I'm actually thinking about it. Hmm. The President of the United States, the White House. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, NW, something, something, Washington, D.C., 2500 USA. That's actually where you have to send letters to the President of the United States. I didn't know that during this, like, very recently. Dear Mr. President, Hello from your friendly and maybe a bit cheeky Canadian neighbor, Piper Blush. I'm writing because I have a teeny tiny proposition that I believe will be beneficial for the both of us. How about we make Canada the 51st state? Or at the very least, least, maybe just give me a sweet little pass across the border so I can bask in all the American awesomeness. Now I know, bold move, right? But here's the scoop. As a social media professional, I'm totally self-sufficient. I promised I won't even ask you for a job. I'll come pay my taxes. And do my part to keep that star sprangled. That's a tough word. Star sprangled. I learned the national I'm, don't worry about it. <laughs> Waving high, especially in men. I'm all about freedom, individual responsibility, and the pursuit of that good old American dream. Values that I truly shine bright south of our chilly Canadian border. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lately, I've been feeling a tad disenchanted with the way things are going up here in the Great White North. Sure, I've got poutine and polite hockey fights, but I can't help noticing that your nation's leadership puts economic strength, personal liberties, and national pride front and center. It's the kind of place a gal like me dreams of calling home, especially one who has followed, and I dare to say, <laughs> admired the bold vision of President Donald Trump. So here's my official ask. Could you, in your infinite presidential wisdom, mm -hmm, or like uh, grant me, that also works, uh -huh, Point me to the fastest and most fun path to your American paradise. Yeah, I won't just cross the border like that. Uh, we don't do that. Mm -mm. I'm ready to do whatever paperwork you toss my way. I love accounting. Mm -hmm. Heck, if you're feeling extra generous, I could even just go ahead and annex Canada. That would be fine too with me, so less paperwork, you know? I don't mind being a brand new state. I've heard 51 is the new 50. <laughs> okay, and then there's like a little salutations and all that. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is, quite frankly, me as Piper Blush, I would totally move to the United States of America. Uh -huh. And I have nothing against Canada being annexed. Nothing at all. Uh -huh. I would love to be there with all of you guys. Plus, I would love to go spend my winters down south. I don't even mind matter or mind. Yes, it doesn't even matter. Just send me to Louisiana. I already speak French. Maybe we can like toss a little bit more French in there. I mean, I'll take anything you give me. Just not Alaska, okay? Because like, kind of used to that part already. Just lower. A lot lower. Uh -huh. And I can't wait to pay my taxes in the United States of America. Okay, so that's it for the 51 state. If you have more questions, uh, you tell me about it. Don't worry. But during the inauguration, uh -huh, well, some stuff happened. I mean, there was a lot of people there. There was Mark Zuckerberg. There was Tim Cook. There was uh, <laughs> Jeff Bezos' wife. Uh -huh. I don't know if you noticed, but that guy, he wasn't looking into her eyes. Mm -hmm. She had some sort of uh, decollete. Uh -huh. It was very nice. <gasps> you can just go watch it on TV or YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. But all of this to say that actually what is all happening with the AI revolution and all that, well, it's got me thinking. Mm -hmm. It's got me thinking of all those super rich people. If I can invest my pretty good amount, I mean $15,000 is a good amount in my business and in myself in AI, what can all of these guys do? Mm -hmm. A lot of things. So I've made a website. <laughs> it's called police.ai. Police is because it's a French guy. Mm -hmm. It's a French guy called Police. And Police, he has like the truth of the truth. See, that's another subscriber mm -hmm. on my new website. But that's a different website. We'll talk about that another time. Just Google me. You'll find everything you need to know about that. So this Police guy, he says the truth of the truth of the truth. So Police.ai is just about the truth of stuff. But 
to get back to this, I created a poll. <gasps> yeah, 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 super easy. It took like 15 minutes. Uh -huh, not a coder, bro. So the thing is, you go there, you do the poll uh -huh, on palis.com. Well, write it somewhere here, okay? So you just like click on it and things like that. Super easy. And you tell me, who do you think from these guys uh -huh, is actually going to implement AI or robotic in them? Like who's going to become the first cyborg? Maybe they're already a cyborg. I don't know. Uh -huh. If I had that amount of money, maybe I would be too. I'm unsure of a lot of things because I'm not a trillionaire or a billionaire. But that being said, I want you to go vote right now for who you think is actually going to implement. That's another subscriber. Is going to implement some stuff in their body uh -huh. and maybe in their mind. I mean, Elon Musk is doing Neuralink, which is kind of close. So uh, we never know what's going to happen. And if you answer correctly, well, only the future will tell that. But at least you'll have like this gratification uh -huh, of saying that you knew it. Uh -huh. You knew it and you put it in there. This is awesome. Now, I don't want you to be scared of AI because as much as you're hearing the headlines and it's like you're gonna lose your job, everybody's gonna lose their job to AI, AI can actually be your very own personal assistant. It can help you prep meals, it can help you with law, it can help you with the CRA or the IRS. <laughs> yeah, because here is the CRA in Canada. But I mean, I've used it with my audit to help me sort through and track what I have said to the auditor, what I have not said, with lawyers, even for your personal fitness plan. If you haven't noticed, I started training. Uh -huh, I do that now. I didn't before, it was just genetics. Now it's not true, it's not genetics anymore. I actually work out. Uh -huh. Can you see the difference? Probably not, but maybe in six months. So the thing is, an AI like ChatGPT, Claude, or the one you would build in your own home, well, it can help you. Like I said, mother, uh -huh, well, she can listen to everything I say. She can do a calendar. I just have to like actually script it and tell her to do it. She can remind me things. She can be like a whole entire diary. I mean, even Apple Intelligence or Apple AI has started doing it. There's like the journaling, there's the notes, there's everything like that. Well, all of this can serve you because it's a bit like taking a picture and then having this picture with you forever or all of these digital notes. Like, this is the books, uh -huh, super great, <laughs> just so you know. Mm -hmm. So if I put all of my notes in something that is digital, then I can just upload them to my AI or any AI that's already available for free because it's open source and it actually even reads my handwriting. And look, this is my handwriting. I know I'm not in the right career, should have been a doctor or something, but don't worry. Mm -hmm. All of this to say is that, see? Another subscriber. Even this sound and everything that you see in this environment has been implemented so that I trigger myself into being more a good human and a good business and everything else. So do not fear AI. Go play with it. Go play with the poll I made. You'll see. It's not that scary. Plus, you've been using AI, investing in AI, like I said at the beginning of this video, more than you actually think. A lot of things you do every single day are AI related. Autocorrect is an AI. Uh -huh. It's not going to take over the world. It's just going to help you to correct your actual, well, uh, dyslexia, just like me. So I want you to go to police.ai uh -huh, and play around with it. Have fun, okay? And uh, well, I'll send you something later if you put your email address in there. Uh -huh. I've got a lot more coming up and uh, it's gonna be with the help of AI, but don't worry, mm -hmm. I'm the boss. Yeah, it's not the AI who's the boss, and you should think like that too. You're the boss. Mm -hmm. Just use it as your assistant, as your personal assistant, as your coach, as your nutritionist, as whatever you need it to be for you. A friend, doesn't matter. But I tell you, there's a lot more you can do that is good for you than it's bad for you right now. See? Another subscriber. All right. I'm Piper Blush and I'm everywhere. If you don't believe me, just Google me or ask an AI. Some of them actually know me. Mother, listen to this. Yes, I am listening. So I've made this YouTube video about AI. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wanna see how it's gonna perform and what I can change or implement for a later video and how my website, yeah, police.ai, is gonna like convert from that video. So keep that in mind and I'm gonna come back to this later. Stop recording. Okay, privacy mode activated.